Hello, my name is David Reinprecht. I'm a certified uh, master trainer and nutritionist. And today I want to talk about fasting. So here we have one meal a day versus 16 hour fast followed by eight hour eating window, also called intermittent fasting. Now, I'm sure you heard about both of them and they all have you know, tremendous benefits. So some of the benefits they both have are fat loss, promotes blood sugar control, it fights inflammation, it boosts brain function, improves blood sugar, it lowers cholesterol, increases HGH, longevity, and my favorite, autophagy. Now, what is autophagy? Autophagy, if you translate it, it's, it means cells eat itself. Now, in other words, the body's way of cleansing itself of damaged cells. So it makes space, you know, it cleanses out the damaged cells and makes space for the new ones, which is perfect for anti-aging, rejuvenation, and so on. Now, I'm sure you heard about back in the days, you know, like people always told me, uh, if uh, people that eat less, you know, they age slower, you know, and I never really had a, you know, there was, but there was never some research that actually backed it up. So I never really understood did you know what's happening internally why that's the case and now thank to you know the keto diet and all the the fasting that's uh you know around the internet right now there's so much research now that actually backs up all that information and now we know you know why and what's happening internally i mean think about it you know uh back in the days like even the bible you know in in every religion to speak about fasting you know and and we should do it because it is healthy and its benefits and back in the days when i was a little kid and i was asking my my teacher i'm like but why should we fast you know i mean what's what's the benefit for me and i'm not talking about now from the religious side but what's what what's the benefit for people to fast they never had an answer you know and now thank god because of all that uh, fasting uh, that's you know hidden in the internet and it's getting very popular you know now we have research backing up all the data okay so and uh, oh yeah so I want to talk about this study you know there was a very interesting study uh, about one meal per day and intermittent fasting now they had uh, two controlled groups um, the study went on for eight weeks they had one group, uh, oh, by the way, they all, they all ate the same calories according to BMR, in other words, according to body weight, uh, so that we could actually measure, you know, to see how much uh, they lose on, on fat or gain muscle and so on. So one group consumed three meals per day, like the tra traditional, you know, uh, conventional, uh, you know, meals like mornings, noon and evenings, okay? The other group fasted for 23 and a half hours and only had one meal per day in other words they had to consume all the calories in one meal now after eight weeks that group that spaced out three meals per day lost uh 3.1 pounds on body fat and that one meal per day group lost 4.6 i know you're probably going to think right now well it's not a huge difference, right? And it's true, it's not a big difference. I mean, don't get me wrong, you know, you do get all those benefits, especially autophagy, when you eat, you know, once a day, or if you even like, you know, fast for more than 24 to 48 hours. There's a lot of benefits, but when it comes to fat loss, I mean, there, I mean, there was a significant, you know, significant difference, but not to a point where I would say, wow, I mean, it's like huge, I'm gonna do it. And then, um, there was the same study for intermittent fasting. Again, one group, a, contr a controlled group, uh, was consuming three meals throughout the day, mornings, noon, and evenings. And uh, the fasting group ate from 12 to eight, and the rest was fasting for 16 hours. And, uh, and that one blew my mind, because the intermittent fasting group, in comparison to the one meal per day group, lost 16% more body fat. Yeah, well, you're gonna, th I know, I, I'm, I can see your face right now and you probably could be like, well, how is that possible? Because I thought the longer you fast, the more fat you burn, right? Well, let me explain. And here is the data, why that happened. Now, 
imagine, I eat about you know, 3,000 calories per day. If you have to consume 3,000 calories healthy food, 3,000 3, calories in one meal, that's a lot of food. I mean, really, that's a lot of food. You know, it's almost impossible to consume all that. But let's just say you're able to consume all that, okay? Now, you eat so much food all at once, you have a huge insulin spike. And we all know when you have, you know, when the blood sugar, uh, the glucose levels are off and insulin gets activated, it stops the fat burning process and it promotes fat gaining. And depending on what you eat and how much you eat, it could take somewhere between six to 10 hours until your blood sugar is stable again. So if you have a huge meal, and let's just say it takes 10 hours to go back, the blood sugar gets back to normal, and within those 10 hours, you're not gonna burn any fat. You know, you're gonna lose all those benefits. The difference is with intermittent fasting, you have an eight hour eating window. Now, here, I can space out 3,000 calories. I can have three or four meals, which means the blood, the blood glucose is more stable. You don't have those huge spikes. And that way, the body was still able, you know, to burn fat and the insulin was under control. So it was easier for the body, you know, to burn fat throughout the six to eight hours. And that was the difference. And, um, and I thought that the study was quite interesting. And it's not like I'm, I'm, I'm all against, you know, uh, one meal per day because it does have a lot of benefits, you know, especially autophagy, which I'm, I'm, I'm a big fan of. And, you know, and also uh, these, all, these benefits and there's many more. Uh, but when it comes to fat loss, intermittent fasting, you know, is the way to go. And, and also, you know, think about it, it's, uh, it's much, much easier. It's, it's sustainable, you know. I could, I could not imagine to, you know, have uh, one meal per day, every day, you know, it's just like, a, whew, I would kill myself, and it's, it's hard, you know, especially if you work all day. But uh, this one, the six into eight, is more sustainable, and to, you know, as an example, my eating window is from like 12 noon to 8 p.m., that's my eating window, and I have between three and four meals within that time frame, and even that sometimes is tough to get all my food in in such a short time. But to eat all that in one meal, pff, I think with everything I eat, it would take me freaking 20 hours, you know, to get my blood, uh, my blood glucose ba back to, <laughs> to normal. So, okay, so in my opinion, you know, if you want to burn more fat, intermittent fasting is the way to go and it's also more sustainable. But don't forget uh, one meal per day or, or, or even more, you know, you have autophagy, uh, which is a huge benefit when it comes to anti-aging and many other benefits. So, I mean, you, it's your choice, you know, if you want to burn fat more, you know, you can try both, whatever works for you. According to the study, you know, intermittent fasting, you know, um, uh, kicked ass quite a bit when it comes to uh, fat loss within those uh, controlled groups. And uh, yeah, for me personally, I like intermittent fasting too. That's uh, my way of, uh, you know, eating and, and training. It's much, much easier to stay lean and to stay controlled. Uh, but then again, it's up to you. The data shows that both are working. Uh, this one burns more fat. This one has, uh, you know, probably is better for anti-aging. But again, you know, try them out. Thank you for watching. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or concerns, you know, leave me a comment uh, on my YouTube channel and I'll always answer it. Or if you have any ideas, you know, on shooting a, another video, if you have questions about something, you know, let me know and I will shoot another video, uh, hopefully next week. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching and bye.